Hey, I'm Kenny from Flex, and today we're talking about the Flex Cup and how to use it. The cup is made without BPA, phthalates, or natural rubber latex. It's also reusable, stain-proof, made from 100% medical grade silicone, naturally non-toxic, odor-free, and comes with an adjustable pull tab. Okay, so let's talk about that pull tab. It's located at the bottom of the cup, and honestly, it's a pretty big game changer. It's soft, flexible, and it makes for super easy removal by breaking the seal for you. And because it pulls out like a tampon, chances are you already know how to use it. The cup comes in two sizes, slim fit for light to medium flows and then full fit for heavier flows. Both sizes fit most bodies, but if you're unsure, start with the slim fit. So now that you've got your cup, let's break it down into five simple steps. Step one, fold. Step two, body position. Step three, insertion. Step four, removal. And step five, clean. Ready? There's a few different folds that you can choose when inserting the cup. There's the C-fold, the punch-down fold, and the seven-fold. Some days, one fold may be easier than another, so don't despair if one isn't working out. Just try a different one and keep at it. The C-fold, also known as the U-fold, should open the easiest inside your body. Take your cup and then fold it in half so that the lips touch together. Then slowly fold the cup in half again lengthwise, like a taco. Next is the punch down fold, also called the tulip fold. It makes the top of the cup smaller and makes for an easier insertion. Use your thumb to push the lip of the cup towards the base, then remove your thumb as you squeeze the edges together. The last one is the seven fold. Insertion is similar to the punch down, but you may find that the cup opens up more easily inside your body. Fold your cup in half so that the lips touch then pull down the right side, forming a seven shape with the lips of the cup. Step two, body position. We've got three different options for you today. Sitting on the toilet, standing with one leg up, or squatting. Whatever works for you will work for flex. Step three, insertion. Personally, I find that the sitting down option is the easiest. Begin with a clean cup and fold it in whichever way is working for you. Then breathe, Try to relax your muscles and insert it into your vagina. Slide it in all the way back towards your tailbone. It's okay if you need to let go and reposition your hand to push it in the rest of the way. Reference the video for cup positioning if you're unsure. If you've got the cup inside you, nice work. Once it's in place, run your finger around the base to make sure it's completely open inside. This will ensure that the cup will do exactly what it's supposed to. Now that you've got the cup inside of you, what can you expect? Well, how does a velvety soft, form-fitting comfort and a mess for your removal sound? Good? Okay, great. Step four, removal. So now that you're an expert at putting the flex cup in, let's talk about how to get it out. First things first, try to relax. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and try to chill out for just a second. Insert your finger into the vaginal canal to reach the pull tab. Pull it slowly to break the seal. Then use your other hand to help remove the cup by its base and keep it upright to avoid any spillage. You can dump the contents into the toilet, flush, and get on with your day. Step five, clean. Being clean is cool and super important in the world of the Flex Cup. After you take your cup out, bring it to the sink. First, you'll want to unthread the pull tab in order to clean it thoroughly. Wash your cup with warm water and use mild, oil, and fragrance-free soap. Also be sure that all of the holes are clear. Then when you're done, re-thread the tab. And here's a little pro tip. Re-threading is easier while the cup is still wet. And finally, be sure that the cup is 100% dry before putting it back into its pouch. Then put it away until you need it again. That's it, you did it. And as always, if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to reach out.